Today I'm going to be doing an update on this solar generator that I built quite a while ago. Um, those are some of my first videos on YouTube, uh, but a link to a playlist where I show how I built this thing, uh, but excuse the quality of them because it's um, really not that great. Uh, like I said, some of the first videos that I uploaded to this channel. Um, but anyway, for those of you that don't know, which is probably a lot of you, uh, considering I only had maybe like 20 subscribers or so at the time that I uploaded this, uh, the, the build series for this thing. Uh, this originally consisted of two, I think they're 109 amp hour Everstart Walmart batteries here in these two uh, uh, cases here, or battery boxes I suppose you could call them. Uh, and I had a 100 watt solar panel hooked up to it outside, which I'll show you that in a second. But uh, I just want to show you the things that have been done to this system since then. Um, and I kind of want to show the or do another overview of the system here. Uh, as you can see, it's gathered dust. Uh, that's one of the things that it's done. Uh, but I've added it in. I've added in another battery down here, and you see that one's got a state of charge or yeah, state of charge chart taped onto the side of it there. Uh, but that's just another one of these EverStart uh, deep cycle marine batteries stuck on there. Uh, eventually, I'm going to uh, go and buy another one of these connectors here and put that in here somewhere so I can unhook that a little bit easier. Uh, but anyway, I've added that in. I'll talk about where that battery came from here in a second because uh, I didn't actually buy that battery. Uh, well, I got bought a long time ago before this system was actually put together. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, this is a Xantrex uh, Pro Watt SW. It's a 600 watt. Well, 600 watts, only like 540 watts continuous um, inverter here. It's pure sine wave, so that, that uh, is fairly nice. I still plan to do a review on this. I think originally I said that I was going to do a review on this on the original build series, and I never got around to it. Um, but anyway, over here I've redone the wiring on this. I've put in some 10 gauge uh, wire here, fairly thick stuff, and I've put in XT60 connectors on this. Uh, so I can put in this little watt meter here, which you see right now. Uh, we're not really pulling any power because the batteries are full. Um, and I just hooked that thing up so the amp hour number is really low. And then that goes into the charge controller. The charge controller that came with the solar panel kit that I bought. And I think that's a 30 amp charge controller. And then the load side of this charge controller goes to the two cigarette lighter outputs. And everything on this is held down with Velcro so I can actually take it off, which is actually somewhat handy with the inverter if I ever need to use that for something else. And I've also put in an XT60 connector on the uh, uh, panel wires that are coming in here. Um, and then that just allows me to unhook this a little bit easier. Uh, so I've got 10 gauge wire running into everything here and that goes into the batteries here. And then this wire in here is all two gauge, and then I have this big like Anderson connection thing. And uh, this thing has actually broken, and I don't know how because I never actually messed with it, but uh, I've got to glue that back together probably. Uh, also, eventually I want to get a bigger uh, wagon thing so I can actually fit this battery into it. And probably I will also get a box for that as well eventually that's been hooked up there for a couple of months now but uh, anyway in terms of stuff that I have laying around here I've got like uh, this fan here 12 volt fan hooks into the cigarette lighter uh, that's like a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug to 2.1 millimeter adapter then this is a broken uh, cell phone charger but anyway over here, I've got a USB cable that's been sitting up here. Uh, I used to charge my phone off of this a lot, and I also charged the uh, the school's laptop thing, school-provided laptop, off of this back when this was new. Uh, I didn't really do that very much this year. Uh, I've taken this thing camping before. That actually worked out really well. I was cooking hot dogs with electricity instead of a campfire. It was kind of funny, but... Uh, also, there's a recent power outage where I put this thing into use. We run in the TV and the DVR and all that stuff off of this, so that actually worked fairly well as well. Uh, but now, I want to show you the changes that I made to the solar panel, and I also want to talk a little bit about where that battery came from. So, uh, anyway, let's follow these wires out here. 
Uh, these, I think, were 20 foot. The ones that came with the solar thing, but those turn into these red wires. And those are 50 foot 10 gauge extensions. They go all the way around here. And they come this way. This is really good footage of the ground, of course. Uh, and come out to this solar panel, which is what was originally hooked up to it. Uh, it's kind of a pain because I have to move this every time we mow, but that uh, works out well. All right, that's uh, a 100 watt monocrystalline Renogy uh, solar panel. I'm sure you should still be able to see the ratings on it. There you go. Should be able to read that fairly easily. Uh, the other thing you'll notice here is I've put uh, some Y connectors in here. And I've got more uh, cable coming from this way. So you see the red wires coming in down there. They hook straight into the panel. And I've also got these wires which go up there and they eventually go through this. And they go up to this Harbor Freight kit thing which is actually about ready to fall off. I still need to get that fixed because uh, this thing's really starting to sag, this mounting thing. Um, but anyway, that was up there long before I ever set up the solar generator. And the reason why that was actually up there is because I had lights in this thing. And uh, these are old like trailer lights that I stuck up here. And there's also uh, some up on the top deck part of that. And there's also a light on the inside. And I basically never use this thing anymore. So there's no point in having uh, those panels hooked up to the battery that I showed earlier that was on the floor in the garage. That battery actually got pulled out of this. And that's what that was originally used for. And I still have some circuitry stuck up in there, if you can see that. There you go, there's a box. Uh, the Harbor Freight Charge Controller used to be in that. And I actually put in a switch up there so I can switch between uh, sending power from those panels to the battery that was in there, or I could send the power down the lines and send it into the garage um, but that's not really used anymore I just have it going to the garage since I took the battery out of that and really to be honest with you these lights are starting to uh, die anyway and they weren't really working at the time that I moved that stuff but uh, anyway so I have a total of 145 watts worth of solar power coming in uh, and that goes into a total of roughly 300 amp hours worth of batteries and uh, the 600-ish watt inverter, which, uh, yeah, it's a weird inverter. It's like 600 watts for five minutes, and then after five minutes, it goes down to 540 watts or something like that is what it's rated for. But uh, anyway, that's just a quick little update on this solar system. I kind of wanted to show where this is at. I think it's been two years since I put this up, and originally I wanted to have it for power outages. And I've only had one power outage that I've actually used this for since I've built it, which is kind of funny. But I also took it camping and stuff like that. So it's come in handy a few times. And it's also kind of fun to mess with uh, the, the solar power just as to experiment with it and see what it can do, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the videos that I want to do, besides the inverter review, i got to get that done sometime this summer. I also want to see how long I can get this thing to run a freezer or something like that, refrigeration. See how much solar power it actually takes in order to do that. Um, but other than that, I want to make some a few other videos using this thing as well. Uh, just doing some experiments with solar power. But uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not earlier, but I actually put uh, all the paperwork in here. Uh, all the paperwork for the inverter and stuff like that and it's kind of getting uh, beat up but it's still readable uh, but I've got like the solar panel is this the spec sheet solar panel spec sheet and then like the inverter manual and the charge controller manual and all that stuff is right there real easy access to it in case uh, something goes wrong that's really handy because this thing gives you error codes uh, on this little LED display up here and then also uh, for programming the charge controller. Another one of the videos that I want to show uh, this year sometime is I actually run my Christmas lights off of this thing. Uh, well, during winter, during Christmas time. Uh, just like LED Christmas lights and I hook up a small inverter to the cigarette lighter outlets and then I let this thing turn it on at night and turn it off in the daytime. Uh, so that actually works out really well and then, I mean, it, the 
Christmas lights only pull like three or four watts or something like that, so it's not really saving much electricity, but I mean, it, it gives a use to this thing. The other thing I want to talk about over here is this generator. Uh, this got pulled out of an RV, I do believe, and it was given to us for free. Uh, they just pulled it out and they scrapped the rest of the RV, so uh, anyway, I got this thing hooked up here and it kind of sort of runs right. Uh, the carburetor's not in very good shape, so that's it's not quite adjusted perfectly. But anyway, it uh, it does run. It's I think a 3.8 kilowatt generator. Uh, it actually it's pretty reliable. I've never had it actually fail to start unless there was some issue with the carburetor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've had some problems with that. Like the little adjustment screw that goes in the bottom here is actually bent, and then. In order to compensate for that, you have to have a whole lot of air going into the carburetor, which uh, ended up having the air adjustment screw or the fuel mix adjustment screw completely taken out in order for it to actually run right. So, I mean, it does run. If you put a load on it, it's at the right RPM and everything. So, uh, that might come in handy sometime if I have to run, like, the space heaters or whatever else, if there's a power outage in the winter. Uh, but for the most part, in the summer, I can get by with this thing because there's actually quite a bit of stored energy here that it always surprises me how long this will actually run stuff versus like the calculated number of what i think it can do and what it can actually do um i have another video i just had a single one of these batteries and i had it hooked up to a little 300 watt inverter and i was running stuff for uh, i don't remember how long it was uh, but that was before i built this thing uh, but that was actually pretty interesting to me because the battery is actually still mostly full when I got done with it. So uh, I've got a video on that too. It's a little power outage video. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I thought that video was kind of cool. But anyway, I'll link that in the description or if I can figure out the card things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed a little update on this thing. Uh, if you want to, I'll link in the playlist where I have all the other videos of this. And you can go and check that out if you like. Um, like I said, probably not the best videos in the world. Um, they're somewhat helpful if you want to build a system like this. Um, but anyway, you might find those interesting if you like the system and then you know everything about it if you watch those videos. So I'll link those in, in the description. Uh, I might try to figure out how you use those little card things in YouTube that show up like over in this area, I think. But I'll see if I can figure out how that works because I haven't messed with it before. But anyway. Uh, that's about it for now, guys. Bye.